Welcome back to Major League So Rare, the show that is all about MLS, the American division, so rare, craziness, madness, and uh, we're going to get a little crazy with y'all today. It's Trippin' B, it's Draft Kicks. Welcome in. Uh, we're having fun, and uh, right off the bat, uh, Draft Kicks, let's get straight to it. Let's get to what this show has become known for, what it's all really about is uh, the, the, the quest, the mission that's sweeping the nation. It's that sweet dose of ETH. Everybody's looking for it. Everybody's craving it. And uh, some people are out there getting it. And uh, and we love it. You know, the people in the Discord are popping off. This is sort of a little uh, metaphor we introduced last week about uh, uh, how to uh, think about your your prizes, your threshold prizes, that sweet little dose, that pill emoji, sometimes even a syringe. Uh, are you shooting up this week or what, brother? It all adds up, man. It all adds up. And uh, I'll tell you what, I was 100% confident that my Cap 240 Super Air was going to hit. The big dose. It was, we were cruising, we were cruising, and then Pablo Ruiz decides to get a red card. This is a guy that's been hitting 60s. I think he hit 90 a couple game weeks yeah. ago. So he was my last card in the lineup. I think I was coasting. I was hitting around 210 or so. It's like, oh, I got this. I got this. that sweet, sweet dose of ETH that's coming in. <laughs> He gets the red. I'm I'm all down. I'm depressed. I'm in the dumps. But uh, go to the dock, man, and uh, that Cap 240 Super Air squad <laughs> comes through. Comes through with the dose. So yeah. Wow, we, the we, doctor is in. You got your prescription. That's I love right. It. That's right. So we got that. It. Hold sweet, that sweet up dose. again. We can someone hold that up for the screen grab crew. Someone. Yeah. Exactly. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we uh, we, we secured the dose in uh, Cap 240 Rare, which Terrific. was nice, and uh, had a good run in uh, All Star Limited. Finished. Let's 50th. see the lineup here. I'm gonna pop it up. Uh, I got I won nothing. I won one tier three rare and no sweet doses. So I had no uh, absolutely no doses uh, at all. But you uh, held it down for the pod with a great lineup in All Star Limited. These are your All Star lineups. You got the you got the the the. Sh can you show us the uh, the uh, the cap lineup real quick before we get to your yeah. uh, your real yes, nice prize. Uh, top top this is, since you're showing it, you get you did get top fifty and limited, which one which one you a sweet prize. But that, let's see, there's your cap. I see on the top right. Yeah, we got the um, got a tier five and all star rare, which is meh. Um, okay, and then cap two forty rare. Yeah, three hundred thirty eight points. Um, really strong squad right there. there for sure. You got to see the killer Oof. combo of uh, Santos and Benteke live. Yeah, in yeah, Benteke, your your definite decisive came through for you. So see this Benteke is a crazy story. He got on his bike. It happened right in front of me, bro. This was absolutely insane. I uh, was at the match, and uh, I was my seats were in like sort of the corner, like above the corner flag. But then oh. you could go down the stairs to like this area that was sort of standing room only. But it was like there was a VIP section that was field level, but we could stand right behind the VIP section and see out to it. So it was pretty cool when the action came our way. Like you could not see the other end of the field very well at all, but yeah. it was a good place to watch like when the action came our way. And I just happened to be down there kind of uh, in between drink runs or whatever. I stopped down there. I'm watching, you know, some of the action in the box. And all of a sudden I was like, wait, what? Oh, and Benteke bicycle kick. Like, it was like, it's kind of far away, like 40 feet or, you know, 40 yards maybe, but uh, right in front of me and uh, absolutely insane, blew my mind and just kind of left me stunned. Uh, Benteke bicycle uh, was was sick yeah. and uh, it got you the ETH. The yeah, lineup looks nice good. I, I got to wonder uh, what, yeah. uh, on a goal like that, when it's such a, such a world-class goal, then how does a... a home stadium react to that i mean did everybody no, it was nuts dude. Quiet, it, 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 it went, no, like, ah. no 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 it, it was kind of like that delayed that sort of that that, nu that nuclear bomb reaction like boom bomb goes off and then it's like boom boom you know like it's like everyone's like oh shit that just yeah happened. what just happened it crazy yeah yeah yeah, okay. so, yeah, yeah it was, it I was, was wild yeah i was pleased with it and yeah um aside from that and yeah it helped Helped secure the dose, and yeah, all the, right. the other pieces came together. Uh, Galesa got that clean sheet at home. What Tristan a lineup. Blackman came yeah. through again. Black and Tristan Blackman is sneakily one of like the best uh, America MLS defenders uh, you can have out there. He's doing really well, especially with Takioka making such great saves. Yep, yep. He's he's a part of that good, strong Vancouver back line that's hit what three three or four clean sheets in a row now. They're Sheesh. they're rolling so. 
Robin Lowe doing it. That is that is that a decisive or did he uh, did he rack up the, the AAs there? I missed, yeah, I missed no, it was just pure. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think that was pure AA. That was the he's, Sunday night game. He was very active. Yeah, that was a nil nil. So yeah, there was no decisive. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, so. and he's he's been one of those kind of just plug and play guys. Like mm-hmm. you never really know a hundred percent where you're gonna gonna get out of him. Usually, it feels like he hovers around that fifty mark, which is fine for a cap two forty lineup. If he hits sixty, then that's even better. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, he feels like one of those utility guys that I can can work with in those cap two forty builds. Scoot on over to uh, your limited, your your top. You got fiftieth place, you said I think right in limited all star, which is pretty sweet. Uh, yeah. With a beautiful, another beautiful lineup. Congratulations on some really nice lineups. Speaking of Vancouver clean sheets, Takayoka leads the way. This is a, this is MLS versus the world, which we love. Anytime you enter a five uh, uh, man. MLS only team in a all-star contest and do well. We call it MLS versus the world. It's the hashtag sweeping the nation as well. Uh, and I love to see it. I've gotten a podium with an MLS versus the world one time. And this is beautiful. Lucas, Sebastian, Hanny, Julian, Takioka, like just the guys that you count on to can't come through came through. What a beautiful sight. Wrong captain though. Yeah. Wrong, wrong cap, wrong cap. yeah, yeah, exactly. Wrong cap. Zella would have been nice. Um, uh-huh. And he's, I think we talked about maybe starting to highlight some of the the players that hit 100 during yep, that. Game yeah, we're weekend. gonna get into that. Yeah, we will exactly. That, we yeah, call so those the 100 club. Zella is the only member this Zella week. Zella was the yeah. only one this week, and uh, unfortunately, he's on a bye this week, so <laughs> yeah, not play yeah, Zella on. Yeah, but yeah, came through. Oh, uh, man, came through this week, me. and yeah, I was I was pleased with with the way that the lineup shook out. Yeah, Gressel uh, tried to get there. A couple of those tried to get there. Driussi finally bagged the decisive that we, we've we been waiting for. It, it, it was a little bit of a drought for him for a minute. Uh, we talked about the 100 Club. I want to show you something that I put together, which we, we want to start to highlight this more like every week, basically, which is the guys who score, the top scores in the league, right, in uh, each week uh, in in MLS. And so there is what we do have a uh, call a 100 club. Unfortunately, it's only got one member this week. Lucas Delarion, Donovan Pines tried to get there, but these are all the guys, Tristan Blackman, you had him in. I feel bad because I own Pines, Mukhtar, Duke, Driussi. I could have put those four into a lineup easily uh, and absolutely probably won any division with, with just, you know, any uh, goalkeeper clean sheet, but I, I did not find a way. Uh, but these were the four highest you know, for the high eight or highest scores in MLS. I have, I have guy essay too. So I could have just, I could have put those four with guy essay and uh, probably won the America division. And I have uh, Zeller on also. So couldn't find a way. It, uh, I have a Br- Blackman limited, uh, but it's, it's nice to sort of like start our takeaways with like who scored the best and like who, who are the guys that really cleaned up this weekend? And like, do we like their chances to repeat or uh, you know, how, how does this affect their market? Uh you know, like the quick flips and things like that and the, the instant reactions. What, what do you see when you look at a chart like this? Yeah, Donovan Pines is a bit of a surprise. He's He's been uh, he's been solid this season. And I think it's he's a guy that a couple of years ago or maybe as soon as a year ago, he was high on the defender radar. His cards were selling really high. I was, I was shocked yeah. to see how, how oh, high yeah. his, his cards were selling. His his 2022 one of 100, excuse me, 2021 one of 100 sold for like 1.1 ETH, I think, or something like that. That's famously. like yeah. You can look it up on Zorro Data. It's one of the yeah. most expensive overpays of all time, I think, yeah. Right, and sure. he was obviously doing really well at that time, and it's kind of come full circle. He's doing well again with DC. He's a big part of why they're Mm-hmm. Having some success early on, um, I would say looking at this list, there is another takeaway. Zhao Paulo, uh, keep in mind he is suspended for this weekend's game against Sporting Kansas City. So I know he's a guy that a lot of people have kind of uh, uh, hovered over to just because his scores have been so mm-hmm. good lately. But I believe he's on a card accumulation suspension. So good to know. Yep, stay away from him. And then yeah, Bryce Duke. Um, he's at he's the Duke found a man. New he's home back. In, yeah, yeah, found a new, a new home in Montreal, and he's producing. Is he the uh, new Mihailovic? You know, the American mid young American midfielder making things happen uh, in goals and and decisive. Who knows? Yeah, he's kind of in that spot. Only a lot of people eight, are yeah. saying. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that. Yeah, he's gonna have the keys to the attack. So mm-hmm. especially like with uh, Romel Kyoto still dealing with injury right now. Then yeah, mm-hmm. Duke. A lot of the set pieces are falling his way. And yeah, I picked up a, a rare of his and I've uh, been, oh, yeah. been happy with Great. how it's played out so far. 
Yeah, I, I I have a rare Bryce Duke that I got for like 0.01 uh, way back in the day uh, when he played for LAFC. I got a, I got a big head Duke from from way back in the day when he was still on <laughs> LAFC before he uh, got sent to Miami. So yeah, that's the 100 club, and those are some quick takeaways. And uh, you know, another thing you wanted to point out was Sporting KC, right? You you were not loving what you see from a Sporting KC, and it, it's now almost like. We never thought we'd see it, but for me, out is, is a real thing all of a sudden. Yeah, I I'm super shocked. I felt like this was the perfect opportunity for them at home to pick up their first win of the season. I thought so too. Lose two zero to to Montreal, a Montreal team that I want to say has lost had lost four or five in a row. I think they had been oh, yeah. outscored been outscored twelve to nothing over their past like four or five games. And so, yeah, this felt like a get right spot for sporting Mm -hmm. Kansas city. It didn't happen. And yeah, they've got so many good pieces, but you're talking Johnny Russell, Daniel Shalloway, Eric, Tommy, Mm -hmm. um, Alan Polito's back. So they've got the pieces. They just, Remy Voltaire, right. You know, like, uh, you know, yeah. uh, Graham Zussi's been good for so rare, surprisingly good at, He's Gotti almost Kinda as old as I am. even like close to back, and you know, yeah, Kinda's back. Yeah, it's like <laughs> so. I feel like they're gonna they're gonna get it get it together at some point, but I'm just shocked right. that they haven't yet, and I'm kind of shocked that Vermees still has a job. To be honest, bring back Busio, bring back Gianluca Busio. He's the only one that can make this thing work. I think for I sure. I wouldn't be mad he's about wasting that. Wasting away over there in in Italy, Italian second division times. Is is it, what what division is Busio in? It's yeah, it's the second division and uh, whatever Syria two or I don't know how Syria Syria B B B yeah I don't know yeah, yeah that, I do think you think, it is Syria B. The, the question <laughs> I have for you then is is how does that affect Melia? Because we've been hard selling Melia. This has been a Melia friendly podcast. If Sporting KC was to fire their coach, is that good or bad for Melia? Because Vermees is very loyal to him. Pulse Camp is the young gun. I know a, fa- a lot of fans want to see him. Where do you stand? Are, are we? Are we doing right by our listeners, our viewers, uh, to keep preaching Amelia on the masses? Should I be selling mine? Is that the real question I should I want to know? I'm sticking by Amelia. I think on the last show, then Let's that go. was part of the that, 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 that was part of the sell off of uh, Fry. Was I said I'm going to go and try to pick up Amelia yeah. for half price? Amelia super rare, which I got and mm-hmm. had a decent game, even giving up two goals. I think he That's topped he forty points. He sure did. Yeah, not and wrong. So I just I think my take is that I, I just don't see Sporting Kansas City flip flopping. You want to instill some confidence in your goalkeeper. I don't feel like they're going to keep going back and forth. Obviously, if an injury happens or Amelia has some really bad errors, then I think that, yeah, at that point, then Pulse Camp could take back over. I just feel like the job is his to lose right now, and I don't feel like he's done anything specifically to lose it over these these past few games since taking back over. All right. You said it. The draft kicks is the one uh, who's on the hook, but my ass is on the line too because I own Amelia Rare. You own the Super Rare, and uh, anybody that bought because they're fans of the show and believe in uh, what we have to say – uh, just don't check the definite decisive list up. <laughs> that, that, that's yeah. all I can say. Here's, here, but, here's that. This is not financial advice disclaimer. Okay, we're just we're just throwing out some some plays here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, remember, what is Mia trying to get us at all times? Give show, show give us your visual aid one more time. Did you, you know he's he, sweet, after sweet a bad dose. game? He yeah, he's dose. good for a cap two forty. <laughs> Throw him in a cap two forty lineup all damn day. I think it's time to uh, get to game week three sixty nine. Let's look ahead. We like to look ahead. We've added a little bit more look back in into the, the midweek show here because uh, we don't have time to do a Sunday night show. But uh, the the look ahead is really what we're all about. It's been our brand. And it's the odds, baby. It's all about the odds check. I found a new way to do the odds, uh, hopefully, which will uh, make it easier to read for people who are watching on YouTube. Thanks for everyone who's watching. Uh, someday we'll start doing these live. If we could ever reach an actual time to start, like we t- we tape this at a different time, like every every day, it seems every week it seems like so. Uh, but tell us what you think of these odds here. Here's page one of the sheet. We see uh, Montreal hosting Orlando. Suddenly Montreal is worthy of being a favorite again after after still being at the bottom of the table. Charlotte, I don't know. I, that's that's pretty good number on New York City. I, I like New York City. At plus money for sure. Uh, you know, FC Cincinnati, a pretty nice favorite though over DC United. Uh, what do you like? What do you, what jumps out to you from page one of the odd sheet here? Mm. 
We might have lost draft kicks for a second, so I'm just going to go to page two of the odd sheet here. Uh, oh, there we go. We lost you for a second, Skyler. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did lose you. Yeah, you're you're you were removed from the stream. Sadly, I, I don't know who misclicked, but uh, jump in. Here's page two. We saw page one. Montreal, Charlotte, slight home favorites, even though neither should be. And then uh, Cincy looking nice to beat DC United. DC United riding high, but they. Trust me, Charlotte quit in the second half, so I actually really like uh, Cincinnati there. And I like New York City as, as, as road dogs getting plus money on this page. Yeah, yeah, I'm on board with you. Uh, I want to say if I'm picking all three games, um, that Montreal-Orlando City one looks looks close, too close to call, kind of a coin flip. Orlando City just picked up a big win at home. Montreal picked yeah. up a big road win. So I'm going to call – I'm going to say that one's going to – Probably lean towards a draw. Um, I do like New York City on the road. I just feel like they're the better team. Yeah, they are. Wouldn't be surprised to could see be. Charlotte pull something off at home. Um, yeah, and this could be Christian Kalina time. With Marks having given up the third goal and getting the guillotine in extra time and just not really looking sharp against DC United. He he was, you know, he was flat footed against the bicycle kick, didn't even see it. And uh, you know, his he he could he jumped, he guessed right on the penalty but couldn't save it. His defensive line definitely let him down, but he did not play a good game and I think I would say it's like I'm, I'm like at a 70 30 that Kalina starts for Charlotte uh, in goal this week. We'll see. Wow. Good turn. Yeah. I, I'd be surprised, but it could be one more time around with Marks, but I think it's Kalina season, to be honest. So. Yeah. Well, I, I think Charlotte could use a little bit of a change of changing of the guards. I feel like yeah, they could yeah, use anything exactly. at this point yeah. to kind of. Help right. kickstart. Uh, <laughs> there you go. By the way, that's, uh, speaking of DC this? United, that, that's my dude. Sorry, that was an accidental pop up, but it just felt right. That's my uh, this me at the DC United Charlotte game last week. Uh, Love this it. guy in front of me wearing a DC, uh, Taxi Fountas jersey. Uh, He's had, had a flip of the there. bird. Yeah, yeah. He was in a he put on a full Mandalorian mask uh, when Taxi scored a penalty kick. But uh, but yeah, Charlotte's looking for answers. Uh, let's look at page two of the odd sheet here. Uh, Miami, Atlanta, who do you like there? I like Miami there. I feel like uh, it, w- it would be fun if Yosef was starting for Miami, but it's, it looks like it's Campania season. He's just coming off yeah. a brace over the weekend, and I don't know. I feel like Miami Miami's back love against nothing Atlanta. More to, yeah, they'd love nothing more to put it to Atlanta at home. That's a MS, MLS wackiness result if, if Miami wins this match, I think, personally. Oh, and you know Joseph's going to come off the bench and score. Sure. If, he does, if he's sure. not starting, he's going to come off yeah. the bench and score. That's just MLS, you know, mm-hmm. total MLS right there. Yeah, Red Bulls are bottom of the table and yet somehow are favored over the Union. That's kind of a weird one, right? Yeah, I wonder if the CONCACAF Champions League game midweek, mm-hmm. which well, we just saw LAFC stomp Philadelphia Union 3-0 in Champions League sure. semifinal. Yeah, um, and Martinez so, is hurt. Jose Martinez might not be back for the weekend. Who knows? So. Yeah, so maybe the odds. And they're, they're, are you, Philly definitely looks a in. different team in midfield without Brujo. I mean, they just. I mean, as, as as good as much as people love the the kids like little McGlynn and all those guys, there's nothing quite like uh, Jose Martinez, the big Venezuelan, for sure. Yeah, so I could see New York pulling off a result at home against a, you know, maybe a CCL hangover battered. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, LAFC road favorites in a in a California derby. What do we, they call this one? I, LA Galaxy versus Earthquakes is the California Classico, right? So I, what's LAFC versus Earthquakes? I forget. I, thought, I think it has a name. But yeah, that's a good question. I don't know if that Who one cares? does have. It's got to have a name, right? L- LAFC will roll and keep stomping. Uh, I think that's just the way it goes. Uh, the Revs, Road Dogs. FC Dallas, a nice fit. St. Louis is the bubble bursting on St. Louis. What do you think? They they gave up some late goal. They scored a late goal and gave up a late goal to Portland. Uh, is it finally the, sh- the shine is off the apple or what? I feel like there's been a couple of spots this season where I've said, yeah, this is the, this is where St. Louis City start to drop off, sure, right? Yeah. And then they've pulled out a big it result. Yeah. So I do feel like this is another one of those spots where you're like, yeah, like FC Dallas at home against St. Louis City expansion team. FC mm-hmm. Dallas should get the job done, but it's MLS. I couldn't be surprised right. to see uh, St. Louis come out and, and pull. Over. But you got to keep in mind that they're without Klaus right now, and he's been a big part of that yep. early season surge. So that, yeah, that might also a bit, a, bit, 
a big part of that surge was the the center backs on opposing teams who passed the ball directly to Klaus, <laughs> right. for sure. Just some uh, freak, real freak goals. Yeah, Real Salt Lake without Ray Ruiz going on the road is going to have a tough time, I think, dealing with Ace Ace pulling the strings. That Ruiz red card, by the way, you said you were mad that it hurt you. It also killed off Savarino. Like, Savarino was in my cap 240, and I couldn't get any type of uh, play out of him because once they went down to 10 men, he, he was pretty much neutralized. So, who on you, Pablo Ruiz, for screwing everybody this weekend for sure? Yeah, it was rough. Now I've got to I've got to move some things around in all of my mm-hmm. cap two forty lineups because he was pretty well. Thankfully, I didn't he include him in, in rare, but yeah, he killed he my staple. my super rare and limited lineup. So gonna have. Did to you list? Did you there. when when the lineups were dead? Did you list? Did you since you no longer could play with those ones? You might as well list or what? I actually, I actually did. I listed. Uh, I, did, I decided not to play because that lineup was dead. It had Fafa Pico in there. He had a goal, and Your so I said, "Let's, again. yeah, let's throw him up good. there and just see if there's some reaction to uh, mm-hmm. to the goal." And so yeah, it killed the lineup off. I wasn't mad about it because yeah, we had already conceded that we weren't going to win any prizes. I love Lister so, play. Yeah. Lister play is stupid, but it's fun. It's definitely stupid, but it's fun. Uh, final page of the odd sheet here. Sees Nashville as the favorites with the fire. I love Joe Will. I love the Nashville stack all day, every day this week. They're they're rolling for sure. Uh, LA, yeah, and they Nashville. Nashville is a sneaky threat to go go kind of far in this uh, in this season because they they could add a DP still. They they still could add a DP. They have an open DP slot. So uh, yeah, Galaxy somehow are favorites. Off Akaloba's contract. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That was a huge move. Big, one them. of the biggest busts in MLS, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, from MLS to Mazatlan, for sure. Uh, a DP. Uh, Timbers, Austin FC. This was another takeaway from last week. Is Austin FC just finally, like, just not for real? Is it time to just, like, forget about any good vibes they built for la- from us uh, last season? Feels like they're in the same boat as Sporting Kansas City for me. I love how I think Fripp jumped in the Discord and – Throughout that Portland's got a favorable home game against Fraudston FC. Fraudston, so, Fraudston. He obviously, feels yeah, like they're frauds. Yeah, exactly, Fraudston. You know, Fripp, like Fripp's loving that. There's a lot of Austin haters out there because there's crew fans. We got crew fans in the Discord. Shout out to Jakey who uh, really, really, really hates them. Um, shout out to Fripp for pointing it out. I'm an Austin sympathizer. I love Drew Usi. I love having him in my lineup. I'm Stuver lover, but they're just not good this year. Yeah. Like I said, I feel like it's the same. They're in the same boat as Sporting Kansas City. They have the pieces to put together a good run. And we saw it last year. Maybe they overperformed. I think Drew C definitely overperformed if you look at his mm-hmm. XG numbers. And yeah, they're, they're kind of correcting themselves right now. So feels like that's what we're starting to see is just their fault coming back down to earth. Right. And maybe maybe they were just feeding off of that momentum. They, they hit that stride and they're feeding off of that. And now they're falling back down to, to where they really they actually are. And yeah, it, it's frustrating because, yeah, I've got several pieces of heavily invested in Drew C. I've got Brad Stuver across the board. I, I went out and picked up Jossie Zardes. I felt good about him before the wow. season. I think no I even – uh, No one told you to do that except for Zardes yeah, fan club maybe on the free, Discord. But, yeah. You're right, yeah. So, yeah, it's it's been frustrating and – I don't know. I'm I'm hoping that they come back around. This game against Portland is interesting because Portland is a team sure. that's dealing with a lot of injury and they're having to shuffle some pieces around. I know we've seen some guys in in Discord um, going to run to pick up Christian Paredes, which I think sure. is a pretty solid move. I think he's Yeah, Paredes that- is like the hottest player in the um, uh, Major League Soda Discord by far. Everyone right. everyone like there's a lot of chatter about Paredes. I have one. I'm si- I've been sitting on a Paredes for like two years that I won back in 2021 summer. So I'm good on my Paredes. Maybe I should sell. Is it time for me to sell? You know, I don't know. Hit me up in the hit me up. Hit me up in the disc if you need me to. If you need to, if you want to buy, let's w- let's wait until to see see him start bringing in the results and then see that price start going up. Then you might want to. Yeah. Yeah. Because right now his price is pretty sure. suppressed. I don't think people are jumping on the the news uh, they just lost right see they lost well, eric williamson and who's the other big injury that they just lost was it up maybe ayala? Uh, david ayala yeah ayala maybe we can get a little a little pump going from for, based on the show you know who knows yep 
Uh, but yeah, I've got. I'll, I will be watching Paredes. So a lot of people will. One last uh, game that is going to be played on Saturday that did not make the sheet because it was an outlier, and I didn't want to do a sheet of just one. Uh, was Vancouver and Minnesota? They are the nightcap of the day. Vancouver minus one fifteen favorites. We like Takeoka in this spot. Minnesota's attack is still hapless. Uh, ben, Minnesota. We had a lot of fun. Speaking of the Discord, we keep jo- talking about the dis- this Discord because it's a really cool, like it's a become a good chat room. We got a lot of cool people in there who make good jokes and have a good, fun time. And if you're not in, you should join the Bin jokes uh, on Saturday night uh, or Sunday night. Excuse me. We're uh, while well, we all watched Minnesota and Dallas together. We're hilarious as uh, our boy podcast mascot Junk saying Bin. Uh, had himself a pretty crummy game, uh, almost a non-existent game. Could, he's still finding his way in MLS, but uh, he gave us some great opportunity for puns at the very least. Yeah, it, it was not very fun watching watching him perform. I had him on DraftKings. I had him in several Everywhere. lineups on on yeah. so rare captain. And you know, yeah, he was my two twenty. Like- he was my cap two twenty cap. Uh, well, there is no captain cap two twenty. He was captain in some lineup for me, maybe under twenty three. Yeah. So we, yeah, we, I, I definitely probably overreacted maybe a little much. I went and picked up his super rare. You pushed the steam on Ben, dude. Yeah. 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 I'm right, I'm right, yeah, yeah. And I feel like he, I feel like he's going to get there. It's just, he, yeah, it's like we've said before, a lot of these guys coming from other leagues, sometimes you got to mm-hmm. take a wait and see approach because I feel like, sure, take some time to get integrated. Uh, I think the league is a little tougher than most people expect right off the bat. And, yeah, I do. What I've seen from Ben, though, I do feel like he's he's a solid player. He's he he can bring a spark, and I don't know. I feel like the pieces around him in Minnesota are a little lacking. But hopefully, Minnesota, you know, we need Minnesota. Ben, we need Minnesota to become a real thing for sure because their their attack is bad. It, what'd you think of that report that said Reynoso was about to get on the plane, but then didn't get in the plane uh, to come b- uh, back to the United States from Argentina? That, that was I don't know if I saw weird. that one. Not yeah, sure Taylor Twelman Taylor Twel- 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 reported it in the pregame show of that, of that Minnesota Dallas game. Wow! Uh, and he said, "Yeah, the, Minnesota had reason to believe that uh, they said they had a plane waiting for him on the tarmac, and uh, he was, you know, believed that he was going to get on at some point in the weekend and fly fly north. And uh, the weekend came and went, and uh, he didn't get on the plane. So, according to yeah, according to reports, so who knows." Yeah, at this point, I'd, I'd, I'd chalk Reynoso up as a has-been. All right, will he ever come back? Will I ever come back? I'm sorry, I froze up there. My bad. Yeah, uh, so, sorry about that, everybody. Uh, thanks for holding on there, Skylar. I uh, sat. My laptop was actually unplugged. That's the, the sad truth, I uh, have, have to admit. And so it was, it was sitting there dying battery, and uh, I didn't even realize it. But it's time to... Uh... Yeah, it happens, man. I actually tried to close that segment out with, uh, with a little Ben joke, but, but I'm not sure if we missed it. Yeah. I said if, if you... Uh, I'd say at this point, I missed the, the news about Reynoso, but I would just chalk him up as a has-been at this point. So. At this point, he is a has-been <laughs> for sure. Yeah, he'll, he's going to show up playing for uh, Defensa uh, y Justicia you know, in the Argentinian League or something like that at this point, I think, unfortunately. so. Uh, but that is that. How about we get to – is there anything more you want to say? Like, how about we get to some of the matchup talk as we get into game week 369? Like, who are you yeah. liking? After we looked at all those odd sheets, who do you want to play in so rare? Well, there's one game I think you might have missed because it is another Sunday game. We get we get some more Sunday fun day, some Major League oh, Soccer God. Sunday. Yeah. And it's one of the best matchups on the board, which, of course, will probably end up with being a Sporting Kansas City's first win of the of the season. But Seattle Sounders at home to we'll Sporting Kansas City. It look, looks so juicy. Obviously, like we mentioned in our, earlier in the show, they're going to be without Jao Paulo. So that's something to monitor. I mean, they might throw sure. out uh, Josh Atencio or some one of the younger guys, which they've got so much young depth on that team. It's, it's fun to see some of those guys come up through the ranks. But it feels like – even when they lose a guy like Paulo, they can just keep on rolling like like it's no big deal. Yeah, and uh, unfortunate uh, that he will be missing. But I, I, I don't know when when is Lodero going out. The, for me, the sad, the story with Seattle is when is Lodero finally finally leave. I, I don't know if he uh, is ever going to retire at this point. But I'd like to see uh, Free Rusnak. 
I'm a Rusnak owner, so I, I, I love when he gets the chance to take some sets, which which doesn't always happen. What are you going to do if Melia is not starting that game? Are you going to offer refunds to everybody in the uh, the, the the Major League So Rare community who's uh, been buying Melia on our recommendation or what? No, I already threw the disclaimer out. We're not giving financial <laughs> advice on the show. We're just giving <laughs> So Rare advice and discussing our uh, individual you know, journeys on So Rare, so... Well, we may not be giving financial advice, but we actually are giving something away. We got a giveaway. We might as well get to our giveaway for the people, right? So uh, th- it is a special sponsor giveaway. Thanks to ZM Star, a uh, great member of the Discord. He goes by So Star, So Rare, I think is his So Rare name. Uh, yeah. I don't know if he wanted to remain anonymous or not, but he did hook us up with a Bryce Duke limited 22 card he's like one of the hottest names in the industry this is the new kid in montreal montreal and look at this card i mean just look at this card folks <laughs> i don't need to pitch it to you it, it sells itself and it's not even for sale it's we're giving it away so there you go uh all we have to do is comment on this video right here leave a great comment and you'll get entered in a spin the wheel drawing that we will do on our next episode to give bryce duke away we already gave away a christian ramirez last uh our, our first giveaway was a christian ramirez limited that uh worked out pretty well because i think he scored a goal the week that we gave him away if i remember right uh, and then we highly advised that the winner sell that card right after he won it but uh this is one that you're going to want to win and keep i think uh this is bryce duke i mean this is the man this is the guy he's uh one of the things i love about bryce duke by the way when, when he was playing for miami was he was the king of the instagram uh thirst trap photos he would always post pictures of himself and his girl at the beach like just like sunday fun day type stuff uh, you know going out for brunch having a good time uh living it up being young people i don't think he's going to be able to do that as much in montreal i don't know what you think about that draft kicks if montreal beach scene compares to miami but uh uh that was a good era for me and if you're not scouting your players on instagram i mean what are you doing you got to you got to see what these guys are up to. Like that's one of the best way. If you if you search their name on Twitter, you might find some random post. You go to the guy's Instagram, you find out what they're really up to. Although some of them are all business and they don't they don't really uh, get too into the social media. But the ones that do, it can it can tell you something. So Bryce Duke, he's scoring goals for me. He scored could be scoring goals for you if you comment on this video. You will be entered in a drawing to win them. So uh, how about that? Shout out to the community for making a, another free card available for a giveaway. Yeah, no, it's big time. It's cool to see people coming out and just saying, "Hey, we want to. We enjoy the the show. We enjoy this community. We enjoy the Discord. Yeah. Let's throw something out there. Uh, throw it in a giveaway, and it's a good card too. Bryce Duke just scored a goal. Like we said, he's kind of he's starting to take over there in, in Montreal. I think he's going to be a key part of their team the rest of the season. So it's it's not like we're just throwing out like a little piece of trash card. Uh, ZM no, no, Star is, hooked yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah so shout out to him good, good and and he. He threw another one uh, my way, Kamal Miller, which we'll probably drop maybe on the next show. So yeah, we, we, we got, got another giveaways. giveaway. Yeah, the third so. giveaway is already in the chamber. We're ready to fire it. So shh. right. Uh, so as much go. as we appreciate you guys player tuning in, that same trade. Uh, so there you go. We know we know how much everybody wants to look at our mugs for thirty minutes or so, which I don't know why you would want to. I mean, but right. if if uh, if you want to stay tuned and come back, let me, for more let me pop Bryce back know, up there. Yeah, let there's, let there's me, Bryce. There you go. Bryce's uh, Bryce <laughs> mug is way better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. but we'll get it. Yeah, we've got another giveaway, so come back for that. And uh, yeah, let's let's keep having yeah. some fun with it. The other thing I want to say, if you uh, the sometimes the invite link on the Discord changes, so like we post it. It's usually in the description of the video. Like if you want to join and you haven't had a chance to join yet. Uh, if the link's not working for you, just message us on Twitter. Just like drop a DM or just tweet at us because we will get you the updated link. But sometimes it does change from time to time, I guess, just part of the way Discord works. So uh, we will try to keep do our best to keep it updated. I think it's time to get to it. The 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 other thing that everybody watches this show for, DraftKicks, which is the definite decisive. It's time to do it. So, drum roll, please. Da, 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 da. Yeah, you're, you're better at that than I am, but... Uh, there you go. Yeah, exactly. Give me a little maraca. Give me a little maraca shake with the ETH. Spin it, it. Spin it. No, you, you're way off. There you go. Spin it. You, you <laughs> yes. missed the camera there. But yeah, it's a dose, baby. It's that sweet, sweet dose of ETH. That's yeah. what we're going to be going for this week. These are the guys who are going to get you there. Now, I will say, definite decisives, it's been ugly. You may want to fade. Been all over the place. I, I, yeah, I will not be offended if you say Bram uh, tripping bees on a cold streak. 
Uh, we're fading this guy. We're not going with his decisives because it didn't work out for me. Matan was a halftime sub this past week. Stuver couldn't keep the cleanie. Neither could Melia for you, but Benteke obviously scored the one goal. The, the, we didn't do great as a uh, as a group here, but at least you're right a, a hot streak of getting your guaranteed goal two weeks in a row. You got to feel pretty good about that. Yeah, yeah, I feel good about it. And I'd say, yeah, if you're if you're trying to fade trip over there, then yeah, maybe look at his could be clean sheet and pick an attacker that they're going against. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, exactly. It might work out well for you. Like that's how you can exactly. use that's how you can make use of this definite decisives. Even right. if somebody's on a cold run, then yeah, just go the other way of the of that uh could be clean sheet. The, the funny thing is, and I'm picking guys like Pies had a great had a great clean sheet uh, uh, against Minnesota. He made all kinds of saves on Sunday night. I'm just picking the right guys in the wrong weeks, I feel. Stuver had a clean sheet, I think, two weeks ago. Uh, Marks had a clean sheet two weeks after I picked him. So I'm just picking the right guys in the wrong spots, and that that's where definite decisives can definitely go wrong. But we're going to try it again because we don't stop. We don't quit. We don't give up. We, we never uh, – want to be the ones that, that walk away from a, a segment that we love to do we're on that when the results aren't working out that well you know but these are the guys who are going to get a semi so why don't we talk through so you always go first let's change the luck up and let me go first how about that maybe maybe that'll maybe that'll do it i don't know i'm going to go with my definite decisive i'm going with jesus you cannot f with the jesus the big lebowski taught us that and uh, i think ferrera is the guy I think Dallas is kind of pissed. They got a clean sheet. Uh, they they failed the score last week, despite like getting numerous scoring chances. And uh, Ferreira fixes that this weekend. I think he gets on the score sheet. I like it. Like I said, good matchup at home against St. Louis City F- SC. Right. Yep. St. Berkey, Louis, Berkey all starting to leak goals. Yeah. Exactly. Not the county. Not the county. The city SC. You know, they are the city soccer club. If you're from the county, do not come to the games. For mine, I'm going to go back, and I don't know if we've ever done this before, but if you want to scroll up a couple there, Chicharito, he came through right. for me two two game you weeks might as ago. Well. Yeah, you might as well just go with him again. Cheech is back. He's he. I think he fired off three shots, two on goal this last game week. He's creating chances. Right. He's um, doing Puge it and doing is, it and doing it well. Yep. Puge is going to be back this week, pulling the strings in the okay. midfield. Helpful. At home, yeah, at home against the Colorado Rapids team. That's right. Just, yeah, they've been decimated lately with injuries too. That's that's been and, an elite matchup for teams all season, home against Colorado for sure. Yeah, so I feel good about Chicharito. All right. And yeah, let's let's roll with with Cheech and uh, about two to two of three game weeks. See if he can get it done again. Okay, we're going to allow it. At one point, we were talking about, you know, can you not pick the same guy twice? But ultimately, that just became too hard to keep track of. So we just pick whoever you want. That's what I say. Uh, I'm going, and this is no, you know, if you own Hanny Mukhtar, you're obviously going to play him. I'm not revealing uh, state secrets here, but I need to get back on track after a bad week. So I'm locking in Hanny for the automatic assist. He could get a goal for me. I'll take a yellow if I can, if that's all I can get. But I think Hanny's on a hot streak. I think he's got decisives in three game weeks in a row, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty nice. And uh, he's going to come through for me. He's going to be in uh, at least one, if not two of my best lineups because I've I've won him twice in the past three months. So uh, there you go. But uh, I, I, I love everything Hanny's doing right now. He's so settled in. I think the transfer rumors around him are gone. I think it's time to buy a Hanny. I think if you're, it, he's his price is so low right now, uh, compared to what it's been and where it's peaked. That, that this is a guy that if you're looking for a little bit of a, a higher end spend, even that's that's at a discount price. Uh, the, you know, three decisives in a row, five decisives in the last five matches, uh, you know, six decisives in the last eight matches. So like he's. He's doing it and doing it and doing it well. His AA is uh, around 10. He's not a known for his AA super early, but I'm pumping Hanny. I'm a, let me, that's my quick Hanny Mukhtar pump of the week. What do you think? Love it. Love it. Everyone in. And you've got you've won two of his rares this season, right? Yes. Yeah, in the last three months. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. so you're it's you're wild. coasting. Yeah. You don't you don't you don't need to buy another Hanny. You're you're good. You're right. I'm selling well, I have one posted for sale. I listed. I li- I played one and listed, listed one. Yeah, yeah. I got one list. I list got one and tra- play. I did I did list or train this week. I trained one, I listed the other one. So yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, and he came through. He was part of that top 50 all-star limited team for me, so he's yeah. definitely been producing. Yeah. Hey, he's last season's MVP. He's hitting his stride mm-hmm. right now. He kind of started a little slow beginning of the season, but he's definitely in form now and at yeah. home against Chicago Fire. He's uh, not an AA be- beast, but he finds a way to get decisives. Oh, That's he's – yeah. You know, like Gash Nashville's Nash. attack runs yeah. through him. If, if, if he's not firing, Nashville's not firing. That's just, mm-hmm. just how it goes, so – um yeah i How love the your matchup assists here yeah i love the match yeah great matchup you're you're busting out you believe it's is it, it you want to talk about a buy low is it time to buy low on uh, evander i think the buy low window for evander might have been a week or two ago he's now that he yeah. he scored a pk goal over the, the weekend yep his price is starting to creep back up i want to see say his rare is hovering around 0.2 which still isn't bad uh would have liked to have picked him up in the, that one 0.16 range, mm-hmm. which I saw him going for. I was actually had my eye on a couple that I was really uh, close to, to pulling the trigger on. But no, he's another guy that's coming coming around. Started a little slow. Everybody was real high on him, yeah. including us earlier in the season, and just wasn't getting there. I think he dealt with an injury, but now he's healthy. Standing over all the set pieces, penalty kicks are obviously his. And yeah, now that uh, Eric Williamson's out of the the equation, mm-hmm. then yeah, all the set pieces are his. And yeah. so at home, uh, another good matchup at home against Austin for Evander. So I feel like, yeah, he's in a good spot. If he doesn't get that assist, and I feel like he could get a goal too. So right. love yeah, me some Evander the, this week. The PK bailout. The PK bailout is always live. It's always something you can shoot for. So I've got a little bit of a uh, – it's funny. You heard me say when we went through the odds, I was like, oh, New York Red Bulls, the bottom of the table, favorite at home. But they should be. I've got Carlos Cornell as my – Could be clean sheet because Philadelphia is just banged up. The Champs League hangover is going to be real. Uh, They have no Brujo Martinez. It's just, it's not going to be working for Philly. And I I think this is a spot where New York Red Bulls can take advantage of the wounded duck who's uh, coming their way, the wounded dupe, if you will. And I don't think Philly's going to be able to score against a uh, organized Red Bulls team that uh, needs to turn their season around. Yeah, I could see it happening. I think I had I went with Cornell a few weeks ago because he it seems like he's just coming so close. Right. He's hitting he he's giving up one out. Yeah. Yeah, he's giving up one goal a game pretty much every game. So it feels like yeah, Philadelphia have have the weapons, but I, I see what you're saying as far as missing Brujo Martinez. He was a big part of not not so much their attack, but just the way that they just yeah, their organization. Yeah, just yeah. the way they work as a team in general. And then yeah, maybe some of that ccl hangover coming off that midweek yep. loss to lafc might be a good spot for red bulls to sneak in and, and get a result here yeah we'll see that's i went i went kind of chalky with the mugtar so i went hopefully a little bit more off the board with coronel although he is a vegas favorite so and then you've got the set the late night saturday night clean sheet specialist yohei takeoka yeah, Takaoka. Honestly, I probably should have rolled with him this week. It feels like this one might be a little bit of a clean sheet chasing because the guys had four clean sure. sheets in a row. Right. You don't want to chase the streak. You don't want to be yeah. the one that fall, that's there when the streak ends. But the matchup's too good. Like we saw mm-hmm. in Minnesota this past weekend at home, couldn't get anything going. So you got to right. think, okay, they're going on the road this time. Like, what's going to change? And they're playing a team that's on that high of that that four clean sheet run. You know, they want to just keep yep. keep that rolling. As long as they can, and Taco is just—I think he's probably one of the best keepers in MLS. Honestly, this season he really is. Yeah, he makes he um, makes some very good saves. Some of the saves he's made have just been incredible, including his his PK stop this weekend. Like he had to he had to stop a PK to keep the clean sheet streak alive, and he did it. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna see it see if we can run it to five and. That's God, good, I'd, I'd love I to love have it. one of his rare cards. I've got his limited. Yeah. I'd love to have a rare card. I just I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get one before the game week. Yeah, friend of the show, your name bought his uh, super rare for Asia division, and then like wow. shortly after that, the trade happened, and he was like cursing. He was like, "This is fucking bullshit." Like, I, you know, it worked but, out. Yeah, yeah, it worked out. So yeah, Takeoka is actually balling out. So, uh, and the who knows are the prizes better in Asia division or America division? That why don't you, why don't you comment that if you uh, if you play both, uh, we'd love to hear th- your thoughts on that. Even though we do focus on America and MLS here, uh, join the Discord. Follow DraftKicks on Twitter. Don't follow me on Twitter. I have enough followers. I I, I don't need any more, but uh, I do appreciate the conversation. 
I'm bound to say something dumb if people keep following. Um, I hope everybody has a great game week. I hope everybody has fun uh, with the lineup builds. Uh, look for injury news online. We'll be uh, having strategic discussions. Show us your builds. We'd love to see any, any questions, comments you might have. Send them our way, whether it's in the comments here, whether it's on Twitter, whether it's in the Discord. We are an interactive show. Draft kicks. Uh, want, any goodbyes for the people here? Yeah, definitely drop a comment. Get your name in that uh, in that contest when you when you have Bryce Duke Limited. Shout out to right. uh, ZM Star again. Big there thanks for is. that. Card could be yours. And All you got to yeah. do is comment and win a, and a win a magic wheel spin. That's right. Yeah, let's have some fun this week. Let's let's win some big prizes. Let's get that sweet sweet dose of ETH. And uh, <laughs> there we go. There it is. There it oh, is. Man. What, what does it say? Show the, the what's the bottom of the bottle say? Take take one to two doses per game week. That's beautiful. Yeah. I love it. You're a genius, yep, yep. man. You're a mad scientist. So yep. next Let's week I need you showing up. Guys. Next week you need to be wearing a lab coat with a big like uh, thing, like a doctor's hat on your head that says Doctor ETH. You know, like Doc. You know, that's the Let's next step of, of, of where we evolve this bit. So uh, thanks yep. everybody for watching. Thanks for listening. Go get them. Tell your friends. Come join us. Talk to us. 